it just going in on a 10 oh um, after the recent exercises of looking at the traits of the 1100 um, I'm feeling a bit on fire I want to play some games and just get it out of my system so the night starts jumping in and taking over the world got the check oh I didn't think it was that gonna happen that quick oh I didn't think it was happening that quick Oh, that is so sad. I thought I had at least a, a move over them. I didn't think the knight could get here and do any damage by the time we were starting to put checks on them or something. Oh, there's nothing else. I can't do anything else. I have to move the king. Nothing can take the knight. Bishop can't take. Then he's got checkmate. Resign. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's just attack the center. I just had a warm up match and got royally crushed. Messed up the opening. And I should do a free move, free game warm up. I've, I've always said this. So I think I'll class this as a warm up as well. Do the free game thing and get into it. You can't just jump straight in and expect because I feel like I've, I feel like I've had a few days off just doing the um, eleven hundred traits sessions. What do we want to do? Give the bishop up. Why not? So just a few games just to shall we keep the center with the pawn although we don't really want to keep the center with the pawn we want to get rid of this pawn as well let's just take so i've got to get back into my own playing style and because when I'm looking at the 1100, you know, series, whatever series I'm looking at, um, I get into that mindset of um, that understanding. And then I forget about, well, how do I play? Let's move the height. What we're looking at here. Got two pieces developed at the minute. The opponent's done uh, one knight move and a few pawn moves. Losing a bit of term, excuse me, tempo and development. I'm gonna hit the knight again to see if we can make them lose some more development time. And some more development time. So just smaller piece attacking the knight. Jumping into the corner might not be a bad thing though, you know, because when if the pawn takes, then at least they're opening up space and they've got a half open file for their rooks. So I'm not sniffing at that at all in any way, shape. I might decide to go and castle on the queen side now that that's taken place. So they move the dead quick there, so let's just bring this rook here. And they have gone on the king side. Bishop's acting as a pawn. It's an interesting situation. So now my focal point is to try and drive across here. Put some pressure on that bishop. Feels nice. Let's go with this then. Bring the knight up. Not wanting to do this just yet because the bishop's going to be attacking, which it has done. And behind the pawn, bishop will attack in. Queen takes. Alright, so now we can do one of two things. We can just bring the knight here, but it gets taken by the queen. We can go here, it gets taken by the queen. We can go there and go here with the check on, but it gets taken by the queen or the bishop. So going backwards is one of the key things for us here. So we could come here does block this open file can come back here bishop's option to take 
not necessarily doubling the pawns at the minute, but once they do take, Rook's going to be here. Oh, that's a bit arty. So we can just attack, but then it just brings the single pawn into the center. Where realistically is he going? Gone supporting something. Move the king. So I think I mentioned in one of the videos where it's like people are not wanting to give up the queens. Some strange exercise going on where people are just not wanting to do that. Small piece attacking the higher piece, can't be wrong. Looks like they're getting themselves all shaped up to um, see where this player's from. Yeah, I've played some from some one particular country and, you know, they're way too strong. I think they're grandmasters who are just like playing in the lower levels. I don't know what it is that they do, but yeah, from this particular country, they're just absolutely they're monsters. Anyway, where are we going with this? Hit the queen. I think we might just hit the queen again. Don't need to dilly dally. Obviously, they're not going to take because that's not the game anymore. Let's dance with the queen. Don't give the queen up. Yeah, go there, thank you. Uh, dance with the queen. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Right, so let's go here with the rook then, I suppose. Yeah, that might work. I'm not going to do this because obviously they're going to go with the checkmate. I think we'll go here. So we've got the Dancing Queen and this pawn, like I say, with the wanting us to take here so they get the checkmate. So I'm going to just hit the Queen now that we've got the support from the Rook and the Knight. Yeah, they're just not giving the Queen up. We can't take because now they're defending the pawn. At some point, something that should be giving, shouldn't it? Because they're just dancing constantly with the queen. Going to hit the queen again, and I think they're going to just go backwards and forwards and look for a draw, I think. Yeah. And that's what they're going to do, because we're not going to move, because obviously the checkmate is going to be kicking him. We're not going to take the pawn because the same thing. Not bringing this here because he's taking a pawn. Let's just attack the queen. They may find a different pattern at some point, maybe, but no, I think they're going to go for a draw. Let's look, re look at this before we do the next move. Rook could come here. For whatever reason, it's not really attacking anything. It's just a different continuation. But if we do go there, the bishop takes the queen. So that's the issue. Queen can come across here, but it doesn't feel too dynamic in any way, shape. Just going to take the queen again. While we're thinking, don't want to lose on time while I'm thinking. Okay, I don't... Is this the last one? Does it click up? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay, this is the last warm-up match. See what other... If there's any arenas going... I think, I think I'm in the mood to push this pawn. I 
They're obviously pushing. I don't know what the delay was. Let's just hit the bishop. Make sure we make some space. Oh, we're not making space today. Fair enough. They're doing that opening that I don't really like, but I think. Think. If we say take, take, then the pawn comes down onto the. So we're going to hit here and get the knight back around. In fact, if we move this pawn, then the bishop does move. And then the knight can come back around when it's getting chased. That's fine. That makes sense to me. So we can bring the knight, but we don't need to rush now because we do have space. Let's just develop the bishop. X-ray through. Well, yeah, hit the bishop. Hit the bishop. And they're running. So the knight could come here, but it's not really doing much. We will want to bring the knight back. Have it here or here. And we'll just bring it back now. Castle. Castle, then bring it back. Let's hit their rook. It's developing their rook for them, isn't it? Where's the bishop going after that? Would attack the knight. So x ray through to the queen. Get ready to move this knight out. Uh, here and here, putting a two on one onto the pawn, but it is protecting it by two on one. Is it a waste of the bishop? Nope, oh, I think we'll give that a shot. Well, they're moving quick with the queen. Queen is coming here. So we need to be here. Yep, and then here. We're taking so long getting this knight off of that off of the rim, it's unreal. <laughs> Knights jump in here. So he gets his um developed. Not yet. Right. What do we have? Anything? Move the knight. I think if we move the knight, knight's jump in there anyway. What do we do? Bring the rook across maybe? I can't believe I've not taken this knight off the rim yet. <laughs> oh, it's there at last. Queen's coming. What am I missing? And like we said, they're not taking. The new practice of don't give up the queen. I'm not sure where it's going though, but don't trade the queen. Can't go here. I think he might have to. Yeah. He's probably worrying about this pawn here, so he's going to defend with the bishop. So I don't know why that took so long to make that move. Okay, so he's coming for the bishop. It looks, does look like we get the pawn. So we're going to take... Take... Unless there's a genius move with the knight attacking the bishop. Then this pawn's going to go because this is going to be hitting here. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of stuff kicking off, isn't there? Ah, yeah. Nothing in this world is for free. Could know this by now. So we come here, defending the bishop. Then they hit the knight. And then he's got a two on one there. So the knight's here. Well, we hit his knight. It might work out for us, not sure. Let's just defend the bishop. And he's starting to flicker now. I don't 
the crucial stage of the game. Oh, well, yeah, we do lose the pawn anyway, because the pawn hits the knight. Yeah. Pawn hits the knight, we have to move. That's the one defending the pawn. Well, they've not done that, thankfully. Position looks shot though. But we're going to just move the knight. Yeah, if they'd have just hit the knight there, they would have won that pawn with the rook. Don't make a difference, going to double the pawns, so it's going to be basically classed as n having nothing with a plus, you know, a plus one, because it's doubled anyway. So we have time, I think, to take this pawn. We know this is getting doubled. Oh, we can't even take because of the rook not getting any defense on. Man, 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 man. Not catching a break in this game, really. But thankfully, the opponent twice hasn't taken advantage of what they could have done. So I think I'm going to push past the pawn. At which point they're going to double or take and double. Whichever. They're still flicking now. Flicking, flicking, flicking. Okay, so now he's attacking the pawn. So we can push here, but then only piece that's protecting it is the knight. So the bishop takes and then we lose the pawn. We're constantly losing this pawn. So we come here defending. Bishop takes. At least we're defending, keeping it simple. So I don't know how many times they're going to let us off of... Um, Having pieces that can be taken. Back rank stuff maybe. Attacking. Eventually takes. I think he's going to lean on this rook. But now we do have space for the king. So we don't need to worry so much. Just support the pawn here. Don't know if they're going to allow us this pawn as well. Well, this is the third warm-up match, so it's um, in my mental roller decks. It's not a key game, but it's key because we've got to warm up, feeling a bit stale after. It was like a few days off, but you know, just doing the eleven hundred series. I don't think we get away with actually attacking this pawn though, because he's just going to drop down. We drop. His rook drops, do we push the pawn, but he takes this pawn. That's why we do this. Slow potatoes this game, I think. But try not to lose on time. These intricate end games can take ages over the moves because it's like, oh, and they're pushing past. Uh, 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 uh. We may as well push this pawn like we said, supporting this pawn. And then we can come through, I think. Yep. Yeah, so he's looking to get round the back. So we take, he takes. Playing defense, Nanny. I'll have to come down here, support this pawn. I can't support both. Let's work it out. So we take, he takes, come down to defend. Comes down to attack the pawn. We come across and defend. It gives us that time to do that. Well, 
going to get this pawn past he's just going to block everything off so it could end up being a draw really is why I don't know if I'm interested in doing that rook move maybe we'll bring it back and if he takes pawn takes and then we can push here and we've got two passes I think I'm more inclined to be thinking that way let's do that Because even though plus one, if we do equalize on the rooks, oh man, they've blocked it off. Okay, let's go like this. Yeah, what was I saying? Even though I've got plus one and a passer, because of the way that the rooks walked, would have been positioned, you know, it would have been challenging this. It would have taken longer, or potentially it was just a down and out draw. So if we dropped it here, then he did take, and we take, then his pawn is more past. So if we push up. Push up with the idea of trying to push this here. Slow incremental push. I got that far really, can it goes there and it stops. Or somebody's got to be challenging this pawn, which gives us the element to push here. Oh, and they are doing. So we can push. We've got two passes working with the rooks. I'm just looking to see if there's any convoluted way of them combinationing against us. And he's still trying to get around the pack. So this pawn is supporting, this pawn supporting, so we can push this pawn, but then we can take, we take. Might be overthinking this and my time is running out. Yeah, because we've got two passes, he's only got one rook, hasn't he? Let's just take it now, don't overthink it. Got to check on the king. Let's can we come round, defend this way, attacking. Let's just attack it. Ooh, oh no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. Push. I feel. It went wrong. Oh, oh, bless your cotton socks. Thank you very much. It looks like they've given up. Cheers, nice one. So those are the warm-up matches. It's trying in a Super Blitz Arena, under 1500. So we've got 21 minutes left, so we'll probably only get about maybe two games, if anything. That's if they let us in the door. Not, not, no, let me in. Okay, strange looking opening thing again. Let's just go here. Let's get the night out. It's three minutes and all. Got to remember. So I've just been playing ten minute games just then, haven't I? So let's just get this situation in hand. Night. Pawn. A very good position. It's just there. See what they're going to do. Oh, they've come with magic. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's take because this one's on a higher piece. 
Let's take what we want to take. There. Oh, okay. Bit fancy. Let's move. 233. We're ahead on time. Got a bit frantic there. Some strange reason where a minor piece up. So I'm not a fan of this looking situation. It doesn't look right. Doesn't look right. Let's hit. Back the bishop with the rook. How are they doing? I really don't know what they're doing. Need to find a way of getting to that king from across here. Bond might be going. Um, giving P yeah, look at that. Just realized. The pawn might be going. A bit of a check on the king. Oh, they must have thought something special was happening there. Let's attack this. Hey! That was lucky. Very lucky. Indeed. We'll look, go searching for, I think, a longer play game, and then we may go continuing with the session for 1100s. So I didn't plan on playing these shorter games, but I just thought, oh, well, we've played the rapid one. There was no rapid arenas available. So it was a super blitz arena or bullet. Um, black didn't move, white is victorious. I'll take that as a hint and um, we'll jump out. Nice one. All right, so let's have a look and see if there's any things we can watch. Yeah, it's still that one plus one bullet arena. There is an under 1300 blitz arena that's still going on. It's got 14 minutes left. We might be able to see some 1100s in this. Right, so this is 1181 versus a 1312. Obviously, we've caught it halfway, more than halfway through the game. But the queens are still on the board, so it's not in the end game as yet. It's more mid game. And let's see if the traits follow in this particular game then. I think we might be too late to get in here now. Rooks taken, rooks taken. That knight supporting. I don't think they're in that bad a position. It doesn't look that bad. In fact, they look like they've kind of got more pieces, haven't they? Plus four. Oh, this might be a 1500 level 11, <coughs> um, 1100. Yeah, they're, materially they're winning. And positionally, it doesn't look that bad. The knight's not got a great fork or anything working with the queen. So it doesn't look like they're doing a bad job against this 1300 at all. Unless they start getting carried away now with fancy, intricate maneuvers that messes up the back end. Let's see. Doesn't look like they are, though, from this position. They look pretty cool, although their time is running out. So maybe they're cracking under the... Yeah, nice touch, nice touch. Yeah, it gets the rook either way. Yeah, yeah, I think they're, they're next level 1100 out there.
We're down to 44 seconds. Why does it keep taking the sound off when you move screens? There we go. They, oh, they might lose on time. Because the Ula won't now. That position's too good. They'd have to move that pawn down to try and even try and defend, but it's not gonna. The queen's not gonna get there in time. It's it's got a mate for it in one. Oh, the queen's gonna have to come off. And now mate is inevitable. Why did they go with the rook then? Joe Bolton. Because it doesn't make any difference. And White resigned. Very smooth. Yeah, this is a next level 1100. These are the 1100 you don't want to face. You know, these are the ones that have that 1500 type mentality going on. Want to see his next game. I think on here it just automatically goes. I've got them on watching their games, so it should just flick on when they're playing next. Must be a different format in these arenas because it's cut their time off. You know, it's cut their time off at the bottom, whereas in my games it hadn't cut the time off. Anyway, I'm not changing it. But I've got nine minutes left of this tournament. Let's have a look how they perform against this 1200 and see if they are a next level 1500. Every time you change the screen, it takes the sound off. I think they're very cool, just looking at their playing style already, they're very cool and relaxed and just smoothly transitioning through each of the phases opening at this moment and I don't think they're going to have any troubles playing against this 1200. I think they'll be more careful about their time now um, because in the last game their time was running down a bit. But I think they're going to be a bit explosive here. And I've only got that from those few little tiny moves that I've actually seen. It's just because of my experience of playing against the higher level 1100. <laughs> um, it's just very clinical. It's very smooth. It's almost very professional. You know, it's a, there's no real mistakes, no real blunders. And... Even when they do a blunder, it's like, well, it's not really a blunder. It's like, well, you wouldn't done it that way, but they're doing it this way. And there was no disadvantage to them doing it their way. It, it's all very clean. So that's where I'm saying it's not a proper 1100 trait. So they're not really 1100s. But if you're aware of that, you can then change your playing style and system to fit with that rather than reacting in a way of they're not 1100 and then losing because you've not upped your game they might lose but you know it just looks very clean no real troubles let's have a look at the material at the minute Again, they're not even down material. They're consistently being up, up material from the games we've brief games we've seen. Just very smooth, very smooth. Just clean. Look at that knight move now. The fork on the F. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. Clean, smooth, clinical. Don't even care about the pawn taking. Don't care about that pawn. At all. Not bothered about that position. When they ignore attacks and stuff, I just, oh, I, it beggars belief it's, eh? You see that when you do your evaluations on your computers afterwards, you know, they'll ignore certain moves and you think, oof, that's a little bit intense, you know, takes a lot of guts to ignore certain attacks and stuff so that you can then do your moves. Look at this attack formation that they've got going. 
they were never not going to get that fork. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. They were never in any trouble. Never in any trouble in the other game, you know, against the 1300. So smooth, so clinical. Pure, ch it's like, it's like watching pure chess. Not in a positive light, you know, it's like, it's like looking at it in a sense of, damn, this player made no mistakes. They might show mistakes on the, you know, evaluation. It might go, oh yeah, they did inaccuracies, mistakes, blunders or whatever. But in human eyes, my human eyes looking at this, it's like, that's just so pure. So pure, no, no mistakes in my eyes. And the constant pr slow pressure building it up lovely. No errors, no mistakes, it's just too clean. Too clean for 1100. It's supposed to be 11, what's it, 1189? 1200 on rapid, 1000 on the blitz. I wonder if they've got an OTB rating. Will it show that they're in all these clubs? Da, 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 Don't say anything about an OTB. Oh, does that move screens? Got to. Yeah. So the queen's being attacked, but no, no worries. Now the opponent's trying to do the same thing. You know. You are joking. Look at the beautiful movements that they were making in the build up towards getting that king. It's too, it was too smooth. It was too perfect. It was, it was annoyingly just too good. And then suddenly the trait of the 1100 came in and their back end got squished. Hoping for a 45-15, I thought, yes, okay, we've got the seek, they've accepted, and just want to play a nice long game, just to wind down the, my chess session. Like I say, I feel like I've been away for a few days, just doing the um, 1100 series, but I'll just play a few games, and they've, they've aborted, that's no good to me, that's no good to me, come on. Come on, people. Maybe if I jump in on somebody else's seek, a 30 and 20. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it has worked. So I don't know what's happened to the screen there because it, it held my time before. I better make a move or I'll still blob. And now it's gone too far up. Strange. It won't let me do any more changes. I think what we'll do is bring the bishop here. Let's focus on the chest now rather than the style of the pit. Oh, what is this? You can't do that in a long play game. You can do that in bullet and blitz. Oh, this is special. <sighs> I despair. I despair. Although well, we're resigning in a few seconds now. Ten, nine, eight. No, they're not doing that just yet. Let's just go in and attack the queen or the rook. Queen comes here, puts a check on the king, wins something, doesn't win anything. Oh, get out of it. Resign this one, stupid game. That was silly. That was silly. My giddy um, come on. That was their seek as well. Now oh, I'm gonna do go well, try something else. Fourteen thirty. This isn't very good, is it? Let's go here. This is not very good. 
Let's attack, bring the knight out. Let's get the bishop. Don't need to move that fast, dude. Let's hit the bishop. Get the bishop out. Maybe bait a pawn. Another pawn. Yep. Take. Shall we do castling? Got two on one on the pawn, two on one protection. Now it's getting into the action, be nice to do that. Let's bait another pawn. Slide, slide. Okay, he's not doing any of that. Uh, they think they're good, don't they? So now they've got like a situation going here. I'm going to bring the knight here, blocking that, but it does fork us, so we need to be careful. I think what we'll do is take here first, and we'll bring the knight up. It's hitting the knight, so we can come back, because we're still protecting this pawn. So their whole focal point is just on trying to get that pawn. Taken them with the queen, so they've negated that, but they're not doing that exercise now of attacking the pawn. Now we bring this knight into the game. Why are they playing so fast all of a sudden? Like the, let's just bring the bishop here maybe. Let's go here. Shall we take? Now it's got to develop itself out. Yeah, they're playing really quick like they're either annoyed or they've got the answer. Shall we take? It brings his pawn into the center. I think we'll just leave that and see if we can double the rooks. Yeah, they're just taking, taking. Bring this rook here. Just taking and taking. What's the disadvantage to this situation? They've got this pawn here. Their king is more highly developed up the board. Um, it is a split pawn, but everything is else is equal on that side. Advantage is his pawn is highly developed up the board. Our bishop can take this pawn. But he can do a Fisher Spassky, which is dropping the pawn here. Our bishop is then trapped. So if we did that, he could actually just come back and attack. No, right, so it would be, take the pawn. Can't go there because the old pawn. If we did do that, say they did go one, then we take, takes, we take, bishop takes, bishop can move, then it would have the diagonal to come back on. Mm hmm. Okay, let's give that a shot. We may just take and can take back with the bishop. Okay. Or do we want to own the file now that we know that this is going to be okay? But it's slightly different. No, it's not because if when we take, if they decide, well, oh, I'm not going to trade and they just attack the bishop, bishop can come back here and block this pawn. Yeah. That's what we kind of worked out. He's doing the Fisher Spassky. He's doing it. So I'll bring the rook here, attacking their bishop, attacking this pawn, defending the bishop. But the bishop is kind of tra trapped and locked in there, which is what we didn't want. And we thought it was escaping somehow. Because we thought it was going to come for the exchange with the rook, really, didn't we? Or he was going to attack the bishop and we would be able to escape. 
So this position we didn't really cater for. So we're going to take. Yeah. Oh, damn. We didn't care for that. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? As soon as he drops there, though, the bishop can run. I'm going to just push the, maybe not push that. Push this. Oh yeah, okay, let's let's look at it. So the king comes here, goes there, he's got the two on one. If we did push this it stops that. But then if he did do that the bishop can escape, it's just that their rook is going to get the pawn. So if we pushed here, stops the king, then the bishop can sit there forever and a day. Here. Oof. Uh, oh, uh, the rook is defending the pawn. What sort of pressures are we looking at? Just bring the bishop here. And the bishop's defending up these pawns. Oh, have you just given me a special treat? Sure, it, it can happen. If you keep the pressure on the, the opponent, maybe those traits do start kicking in. So they've made a move, but I don't think they're going to make another quick move anytime soon when we've made our move. But let's have a look and see. Shall we attack this pawn? It just defends. And then maybe we can come. Or do we just attack this pawn? He comes and defends. Then we come across and then he comes down to defend. How do I get them without him being able to defend them? I don't think I can really, can I? Let's attack one. Brings the rook here. Yeah, it's on a white square. But bishop's not. Getting the bishop here somehow. Maybe managing this area. Yeah, they're not going to move very quick, quick now. They're just going to take the time. E e e e. Not really annoying fella. At all. No, it's not annoying. Keep playing like that. sportsman like behavior okay that's it um yeah happy with the session today yes bye for now